Hi everyone, this is Sarah, and welcome to my channel, Selmond. Today, I'll be making this beautiful coffee filter style ombre heart wreath on a smaller scale using mini cupcake liners. Today's video is a Valentine's craft collaboration with some awesome crafty YouTubers, so when you're done watching my video, please be sure to check out their videos by following the link in the description below. And if you'd like to see more of what I do, you can follow me on Instagram or take a look at my blog. I also have a Facebook group if you'd like to share all of the wonderful things you make. The links to all of these are in the description below. To get started on our mini baking cups, which is what we're using for this coffee filter wreath, I'm going to use three different bowls because we are doing the ombre effect on our heart. I have here some hot water. You definitely don't need to use hot water, but I'm cold and hot water just sounded like a plan. I have my mini baking cups here and mostly for demonstration purposes, but also because I had them, I have these three different kinds of um, food dyes. I have the Wilton gel dye, I have this generic bought in the store pink dye, and then I have this liquid food coloring that you can use as well. All work for this project. And then of course I have some toothpicks to mix everything up with. First thing I'm going to do is just pour some water into each of the uh, bowls here. Right. And then I'm just going to start adding the food coloring in until I have a color I think I will like. Now for the red, I want it to be the darkest color, so I mixed in about six drops of food coloring. Just get that stirred around there. Hopefully that will be a nice dark color for us. Oh, I got a little bit in there too. That's okay. So we'll add this neon pink. I'm hoping it will be darker. We might have to play with it a little bit. Gel food coloring. And if we have to add a little bit more red to it to get that ombre color, we will because yeah, that's pretty bright. And just let that work on dissolving for a minute. And then we'll come in here with our Wilton gel food color. And this is just a pink. Hopefully this will give us a nice, beautiful, light pink color. Just stir that around. It's actually looking pretty close to this um, neon color, but it's got a little more orange to it, actually. I hope this works out okay. Okay, now here I wanted to show you real quick. I double dipped one of these in each of these colors the neon pink that I got from the store and the um, Welton food coloring. And I wanted you to see for these purposes, these both came out almost exactly the same color. So what I'm going to do in one of these is I'm just going to go ahead and mix a little bit of the red into it to get more of the ombre effect. All right, now that we have our three colors, what I'm going to do is start separating these out and adding just a small stack. You want about uh, no more than eight or 10 in each stack. We're just gonna start placing these stacks into each of our little bowls here. Let them start soaking up our color. Okay, now we're going to let these soak for just a little bit um, so they can um, really get some of that color going on them. We want them to darken up. We'll come back and check on these in just a little bit. 
Now I, that I have all my mini cupcake liners dyed and dried by using a 250 degree oven for about 20 minutes, what I'm going to do is start arranging them um, from darkest to lightest so that as I work my way down my heart wreath form, I will have an ombre effect. So I'm just going to go ahead and get all these sorted and hopefully because I varied the dyeing times, some of the reds and the pinks will be lighter. I also went ahead and wet down and dried in the oven some regular white cupcake liners. And this is because they have those ridges in them when they are dry originally. And I wanted to get those out so that everything matched as far as the, the finished look of the wreath. All right, now that I have all of my mini cupcake liners separated out by color. You can see that my pinks did not come out as different as I wanted them to, which is why I went ahead and opted to wet down and dry some of the white ones because we're really not going to get that ombre effect to the fullest extent with these two colors. I went ahead and cut out this 12 by 12 shape from white cardstock and I did use my Silhouette Cameo to cut this out, um, however you can absolutely trace it and cut it by hand. And this is going to be the basic shape for our heart wreath. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to lay it over this piece of cardboard here. We're going to trace this right onto the cardboard and then we are going to cut out the cardboard. Going through some of my old craft items, I found this old melting pot and I thought it would be perfect for this and some other projects that I do where I can just break up some hot glue sticks, put them in here, it will melt the glue down and then I can simply dip the items into the glue. It's taken a couple minutes to heat up and melt the hot glue, so how perfect is that? And I'm just going to set this over to the side and bring this down and we are going to start hot gluing. First thing I'm going to start with is the red. It's going to be on the top and I'm going to fold our cupcake liners in half and then I'm just going to roll them in on each other so that you have this little floret look. Then you simply bend the bottom about a third of the way up, dip it in your hot glue and then just go ahead and place it down there. Flip for just a second. And then just keep going around to about the top third of your wreath form. And I'm just going to go ahead and give this a light mark as to where about I want my third to come into play. It doesn't have to be perfect because it is going to be an ombre effect but that gives me a visual as to about where I want everything to come into play. And again, I wanted to show you what I'm using to hold the hot glue down. It's just the tip from a Dollar Tree spatula I just pulled off of the handle.
right, so here is our variegated ombre wreath. I absolutely love the way this came out. It did take quite a bit more red on the top than I planned on, so I did have to go back in and dye some more of the red. But other than that, I think it came out just beautifully. The last thing that I'm going to do is come in with some of this sheer ribbon and just make a hanger for it. So I'm just going to cut off just a little bit of ribbon here. Flip it around. And then I'm just going to take a little bit of my hot glue out of my melting pot. And I'm just going to lay my ribbon right over that. Push that down with my silicone. Okay, and there is our beautiful ombre wreath ready to hang. Here is our finished ombre heart. I absolutely love the way this turned out. It looks so cute hanging on our front door. And I hope you enjoyed this too. Let me know what you think in the comments below and what ideas you have. I will see you soon in another video. Bye-bye. If you liked this video, please be sure to hit that like button as well as share it with friends who may also enjoy it. If you like my channel, hit that subscribe button, and when the notification bell pops up, be sure you hit that as well so you never miss a video. And, as always, have a great day and stay crafty.